What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Lucas and in this one I'm going to be giving you four reasons why you can't focus. If you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to subscribe because it helps my channel to grow and I greatly appreciate that. Ninety nine percent of humans on the face of this planet are horrible at focusing. If you tell a person to focus on their breath for five minutes, they will be distracted by a million thoughts happening in their head, sensations in their body, visuals, noises. They will become distracted by literally everything going on around them. Okay, when you try and force your mind to focus, it uh, doesn't really go too well. It's like poking a beehive with a stick. You're just kind of pissing it off. Now, focusing or concentration is like a muscle, okay? It has to be developed. You actually have to put in hours of, of work to develop it. And the benefits to this are crazy, like beyond anything I can even say, but you'll have to figure that out for yourself. You'll just have to experience that for yourself. But focusing is not something that people are born with, okay? The mind is very easily distracted if it's undisciplined and untrained. And next to no one really trains their mind, okay? There's a reason why people become monks and they meditate for like 12 hours a day. So a lot of people in our society are diagnosed with things like ADD or ADHD. And I was actually diagnosed when I was 12 years old with ADHD. And when I was told that, I just thought it was bull crap. I didn't think I had ADHD and I don't have ADHD. I'm, I, I'm, <laughs> I can sit completely still for two hours. Okay, I do meditation every day for an hour and a half to two hours. And I'm totally fine with it. That's the most enjoyable part of my day. <laughs> it's just being there and just being still. So a lot of people have this narrative of I can't focus or I have ADHD and I can't focus. And to some degree, you know, that's true. You know, you have trouble focusing. See, we're not all born with the same focusing abilities. Some people will be better at it than others and some people's minds will be naturally more jumpy. But saying something like, I have ADHD, I can't focus, and then just you know acting as if there's nothing you can do about that is pretty bullshit. Because like I said, focusing and concentration ability is something that has to be developed like a muscle, okay? If you don't develop it, you're not gonna be able to do it. Okay, the, the problem isn't some sort of excuse that you make up. It's the fact that you don't practice it, okay? It's like me going to the gym and complaining about why I don't look like Arnold Schwarzenegger when I've only been to the gym two times. It's obvious that I'm not going to be able to bench press 300 pounds and that I'm going to suck at the form. When I'm, when I'm lifting, my form is going to be terrible. I don't know the form. It's my second time going to the gym. It's something that has to be worked on over and over and over and over again every day for years. And there is no such thing as a person who is just born with these laser-like focusing abilities. Maybe one in a billion, okay? And that's like, whatever, that person's probably not watching this. They're probably meditating in a cave somewhere or something, I don't know. But if you are the average person you probably have focusing issues, okay? Even if you don't really admit it and you aren't really aware of how distracted you are, okay? Your thoughts pull you around all the time. You're hungry, you immediately think, I'm hungry, and you go to the fridge like a robot. You just act upon these desires and act on these thoughts. You don't really have much awareness around them, okay? It's because you've just never practiced concentrating or just being aware of, of things like ever. <laughs> so this video is gonna be four reasons why you can't focus. It's more than just practicing 
as well. But practice is the most important aspect of this by far, by far. A lot of people have trouble focusing and that is totally okay. And what I'm pretty much saying is that if you just say, oh, I have ADHD, I can't focus and act like there's nothing you can do about it, well, then you're kind of being an idiot, okay? As I don't want to be an ass and I, I don't think I'm better than you or, or anything like that. But it's just this sort of, I give up, I'm the victim is just not true and you're lazy, okay? You're just not putting in any practice or any work into developing this ability because it's an ability, okay? It's like juggling, you know? You don't know how to juggle until you've done it a lot of times and then you get good at it, you know? It's something that just has to be developed and it has to be viewed this way. It's not like... It's not, it's not as simple as people think. It really takes a long time to develop high quality concentration abilities and it's it's, it's extremely difficult because the mind naturally gets jump it's jumpy it's all over the place it doesn't stop thinking your thoughts pull you around it's just naturally very distracted everyone's mind is like this so here's reason number one on why you can't focus and this pretty much is what i've been saying this whole time you have never done any concentration practices ever in your life. You aren't going to be born with laser-like focus. People do thousands of hours of concentration practice and meditation. And there's an objection that I wanted to say to this. People will say, but Lucas, I can't meditate or I can't do a concentration practice because I can't focus, because I have ADHD. What that means is that you especially have to be practicing this. Like you out of all people should be doing this. If you can identify that you have some kind of focusing ability, I mean focusing inability, you have some sort of focusing issue, then you of all people should be the one practicing this, okay? And it's not like you're going to do it and be some master right away, okay? Like your first time sitting down to meditate or concentrate will drive you nuts. You're going to feel anger and worry and anxiety and fear and doubt and blame and criticism. And all of this is going to start coming out as a way to pull you away from being concentrated or developing that practice. It's just more distraction. So like I said, the reason why you suck at focusing is because you don't practice it, okay? I was diagnosed with ADHD, which I think is a completely false diagnosis because I never, I'm not going to say I never had focusing problems. Everyone has focusing problems, but I wasn't all over the place and I was just really bored of French class really when I was 12 years old when I was in grade 7 I was just sick of sitting down for seven hours a day in French class I just got bored I just got so bored but this first point is extremely important I really want you to understand that your mind will make lots of excuses and a lot of narratives around why it can't focus. See, what if I truly believed that I had ADHD when I was 12 and this narrative of I have ADHD, I can't focus was still alive within me. Then I would just think I have ADHD and I can't focus and that would be it. But luckily for me, when I was told that, I just said that's complete bull crap and I didn't buy it for a second because I just didn't care enough. I just, I just couldn't care less. I just, it, it just, I just saw it as not true right away. So I really want you to understand that if you want to actually increase your focusing abilities, you have to work at it. It's not something you're born with, okay? You're not going to be born with laser-like concentration. You're going to be born with an undisciplined and distracted mind. That's where everyone starts at. Okay, everyone starts with a jumpy, irritated, 
complaining little bitch of a mind. It just jumps around. It's all over the place. It gets mad. It gets frustrated. It cries. It's happy now. It's jumping for joy. Now it's pissed off again. And it's completely all over the place. It's hungry. It's got to go to the bathroom. It feels dirty. It wants to shower. It's tired. Now it's full of energy again. It wants to go work out. It wants to go play video games. It wants to go hang out with his friends. It wants to go make money. It's just all over the place. This is where everyone starts out. So I have older videos on meditating, but just to sum it up, when you are developing this concentration practice, you don't want to suppress these distractions or this thinking. What you want to do is just notice that it's happening. That's it. When you are meditating or doing your concentration practice of any kind, when you notice distracting thoughts coming up or distracting feelings, just label the distraction. So if you're meditating and you're noticing thoughts of sex arising, okay, just label it sex and just that's it. Just label the distraction or you're thinking of video games, video games, or you're thinking of what you want to say to this person, just say, you know, speech or social, or there's an uncomfortable sensation in your back or your leg that's pulling your attention all over the place, just sensation or feeling. And that's it, just noticing the distractions and labeling them so then you can identify what is distracting you and you can identify the pattern of thought that is distracting you. Because usually a distraction is very rarely jumps in your face and gets you and you're completely pulled away. That does happen. But usually a distraction is a thought that leads to another thought, which just leads to another, a series of thoughts. And then that sort of gains momentum and sweeps your attention away. And that's what distracts you. It's not an external thing. It's deeply internal and in how you're relating to the world and how you're relating to your thoughts. And this inner game has to be built up. Okay, so that's enough for that one. The second point is you eat food that gives you brain fog. Okay, you eat food that makes you dull. So you wake up and you eat Eggo waffles or something. <laughs> or you're eating too much cake. Or you're drinking soft drinks like pop or something, soda. Or you're drinking beer and alcohol. And it's making you dull. It's taking out that mental edge, okay? It's, it's giving you that fogginess in your mind. It makes you tired. You're eating too much pasta and wheat and bread and all this stuff. It's making you sleepy, okay? This will be another reason why you can't focus because your body is literally made up of the food that you put in it. So if you've ate nothing but Eggo waffles for 10 years, then your brain is literally made out of the energy that the Eggo waffles have been giving you. And you're going to be left with all sorts of heavy metals and toxic crap stuck in your body. And that's going to complete, uh, completely affect the way that you can concentrate or think. Okay. So obvious stuff, you have to put clean food in your body because that's going to give you that clarity that you need and that energy that your body actually needs to function properly. So what you're putting in your stomach really affects up here, okay? It's not like your body is just this sort of, um, you know, it's not divided into parts, really. We can divide it into parts, but that's not entirely accurate because it's an interconnected system. What you put in the stomach affects the brain and then how the brain works affects, you know, your mental health and your stress and how your stress and all that, you know, that affects your relationships, which then, you know, let's say you get into a bad fight or something and you want to distract yourself from that. Then you go and put bad food in your stomach and it's this sort of pattern. It's this loop that sort of plays itself out until you become aware of that mechanism and you just drop it. Okay. So... You know, you hurt your leg and now you're thinking, oh, I hurt my leg. See, it's now it's affecting how you're thinking and it affects other parts of your body. It's not so much that we can just easily divide the body into sections, into small parts, 
but we have to be thinking about how these parts are relating to each other and how they're relating to the whole. Okay, that's a more uh, holistic and accurate view of how your body functions as opposed to I have a stomach and I have a kidney and I have a lung and I have, well, two lungs, <laughs> two kidneys. But you see where I'm going with this, that it's not as simple as just reducing something down to its parts, but these parts work together in complicated ways that have effects on the whole. So that's a really simple point. Just stop eating crap. Just experiment with the foods that you should be eating. Okay, if you, and it should be, for the average person, it should be 95% fruits and vegetables. And there's really no arguing that. If you want to have some meat or something, cool. But it's got to be 95% fruits and vegetables. That should be the bulk of your diet. And there's no debating that. And what you should be drinking is fruit smoothies that you make or water. Some teas are fine. Uh, I know for some people, coffee makes people, like a lot of caffeine really, makes people jumpy and agitated and their minds going nuts. So figure out what works with you because it's very subjective. Uh, I can't tell you what's going to work with you and what isn't because I don't know. I know what works for me and what doesn't. And that's as far as I can go with that one. I can just give you tips and suggestions. So when you're trying something new, try a little bit. So, you know, make sure you don't have a, a large dose of something that um, you're really uncertain about, you know, how it's going to make you feel. Try and take a small little bit and see how you feel and then work with that. Now, the third point is you never exercise and have a buildup of energy that needs to be released. Now, a lot of people have a lot of energy. Me, personally, I have lots of energy. Uh, I have to go for a run or lift weights or something. like. I don't feel like I have to, but it helps me to, to ground out my energy and release uh, the, the ener energy that's just stored up in me. So... Exercise is also really important. Notice how basic it is what I'm saying. It's just the foundation. This whole video is just foundation. That's what I'm giving you here is just foundational work. It's just a basic meditation practice. Eat good food. Take care of your body. Go for a run. Lift some weights. Do some squats. And the, ne the next one is, is, is the next point. I'll talk about that later. But for the most part, it's simple. Okay, the reason why we can't focus is because we have trained our minds to be distracted with nonsense. And I'll talk about that later. But so you never exercise and have a buildup of energy. So sometimes you feel like you have a lot of energy, I'm sure. Okay, and you got to go release that. Go for like a run, try and schedule it in four or five times a week, a run or a workout of any kind, get yourself moving. Burn some of that energy. It helps to ground you out and chill you out. It rewires how your brain works. It's really good. That's all I'm going to say about that. I shouldn't have to sell you on why you should uh, go, go exercise. I hope it's just common knowledge, common sense to you that, oh, like this is big. I should do this four or five times a week uh, minimum. The fourth one is you spend your life distracted by your electronics video games, phone, Instagram, YouTube, etc. You have trained your mind to actually suck at focusing and instead be distracted by nonsense. We are so loaded with distractions everywhere. I got this computer, my phone's recording this. There's video games and other other rooms and I can go outside and go hang out with my friends and we are unconsciously training our mind to jump around and be unfocused and lose focus easily. We're training our minds through these actions. We're training our mind to be distracted and not be able to focus. So what we're doing is we're, we're reinforcing unhealthy habits. And this actually leads to my bonus point. That is, you are reinforcing unhealthy habits that lead to a lack of focus. And that's really the homework for this episode is... Notice habits in your life that lead to a lack of focus and notice that you reinforce those habits like a lot. They're a part of your identity, a part of your sense of self, a part of your sense of reality. 
If you like to watch movies and play video games, you'll say, I like to watch movies and play video games. And that I that you notice is your sense of self. It's your sense of identity. You feel like you need these things within your, you know, your, within your life. You become attached to them because of this sort of identity you've made around them. But for the most part, I'll leave that kind of aside. Just notice habits that lead to a lack of focus in your life and notice how you reinforce them and get them out by the root, okay? And notice just how distracted you are in your life. Notice how your thoughts pull you around from this to that and how ungrounded you are, how out of touch with the present moment you are and how in here you are 99% of the time. Pretty much 100% of the time. It couldn't be closer to 100% of the time. You're just lost in thinking and it's pulling you everywhere. It's making you anxious and worried and sad and all of this. And it's pulling you out of the mystery and the wonder of this present moment. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe because it helps my channel to grow. If you guys like, the, if you guys like this content, leave a like because it helps YouTube to push out my content. Any questions at all, uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'll answer I'll answer it, I'll help you out, I'll give you some advice. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.